Hi, I'm Joe Sullivan. I'm Simon. And we're here today to talk about how a transistor functions. So the transistor has three prongs. The one on the far left is called the base, the one in the center is called the collector, and the one on the far right is called the emitter. And you hook up your battery or your power source um, so that it goes, the positive current goes into the collector and out the emitter. And um, the point of the transistor is to be able to control how much of this current flows. So we use the base to accomplish that. If you apply a high voltage to the base, then more current flows from the collector to the emitter. And if the voltage at the base goes down, then it constricts essentially, and less current flows. So do you want to demonstrate it now? Yeah, sure, and I'm going to demonstrate how this works on a breadboard with a motor. So here we are with the breadboard, and right now I'm going to use the potentiometer as a voltage divider. When I adjust the potentiometer, I can control the voltage at the base of the transistor. The more voltage at the base of the transistor, the more current will flow from the collector to the emitter at the transistor, which makes the motor turn faster. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Okay. So what just happened was the amount of voltage at the base of the transistor was pretty high and therefore there was a lot of current flowing from the collector to the emitter which made the motor spin and when I adjusted the potentiometer again there was less voltage at the base of the transistor and that's why right now the motor's not turning because there's no current flowing from the collector to the emitter therefore the motor's not spinning. Yes! Nailed it! Yes. <laughs>